Hello, my name is Igor and welcome to my tech farm. Recently I was in the situation where I needed some stronger part and CD printed objects was not strong enough. And uh, my solution was uh, CNC services by JSC PCB. I already presented their uh, CD printing services, even meta CD printing. <laughs> this was the first time when I ordered this uh, twist drill and actually it was able to drill aluminum too. To clear immediately, this is not a sponsored video. They offer me to send me these test objects for free in exchange to create some video and present their services. And for this, I also got uh, these uh, test hooks from different materials, so there will be some strength tests too. The ordering process is very simple, but for us you have to prepare a step file, not STL. It can be exported from the Fusion 360, for example. The next step is on their website. Uh, we have to go to the resources, choose the CNC machining, and then we have to upload those uh, step files. And the next important step is to choose the correct material. They have two types of the aluminum, brass, copper and different uh, plastics too. And uh, later we help you to choose the correct material. We have to enter some other data and uh, basically we can wait for the quote. Now the price estimate is not automatic like with the CD printing where we just upload the file and basically we can immediately see the estimated price. Here we have to wait maybe one or two hours during day workday and then we can choose if we want to buy that product or it is too expensive for us. Actually, they have very good prices uh, for CD printing, I already experienced that, and it uh, looks like they have good prices here for a CNC machining too. About the shipping, they have different options, and I choose the DHL Express uh, with the DTP parity. I'm in Europe and uh, with the DDP parity, uh, all duty taxes are handled by the GSE PCB. Of course, it's a little bit expensive, but we don't have to deal with the customs. Actually, I got these uh, test objects in a little bit more than a week. So from the ordering until I received these objects, just uh, eight or nine days. So this was really incredible fast. In this Excel table, I summarize the specifications of these uh, four metals available for CNC machining and also included here some stainless steel data that just for reference. And this Excel table is reviewed by JSC PCB and also they even enter some data by themselves. Let's start with uh, 6061. This is the most common aluminum alloy and it has great uh, strength to weight ratio and excellent machinability, good corrosion resistance. 7075 aluminum is even stronger better mechanical properties and excellent fetish properties and um, look at this tensile strength it is big almost like a stainless steel and also the hardness is uh, very similar actually this was my choice for those uh, holders brass good machinability excellent electrical conductivity and it is often used in low friction projects you know like uh, not on the z-axis on cd printers and it has good corrosion resistance. What is very interesting here is that uh, it has very big maximal working temperature. So if you need this kind of project, definitely this is great material. Because don't forget, look at this aluminum. This is already the melting point, not even the working temperature. Copper, uh, good electrical and thermal conductivity, great corrosion resistance, and it is widely used in electrical industries. Now let's see the density. Uh, the density of the aluminum is almost one third of these three materials compared to the brass, copper and even from the stainless steel. The price. This is the price for two holders. Now actually I had to upload this uh, two times and the estimated price was different. The final price for these two holders which I ordered was uh, $21 for two pieces. Now uh, about those hooks, <laughs> this was the prices in uh, first offer, then when I did a re-upload the uh, price was uh, much lower and actually on invoice the final price was even lower and this is the price for the CD printed part which is quite automatic and accurate but the CNC price is um, manually quoted and <laughs> it looks like it is different from time to time. That's the content of the package. So these are those new objects I needed. And these are CD printed for the prototyping. And these are holders for the new test specimens for the layer adhesion test. I already have something similar, 4 by 4 mm small cross-section area. And those are solid inside, but I needed something bigger because sometimes I need uh, layer adhesion tests with uh, more realistic objects, which are hollow inside. So these test objects uh, are bigger two walls and 20% infill and with this I can test the layer adhesion with the more realistic objects. 
And additionally, these are those test hooks I got uh, in this package. Uh, these are two types of the aluminium, brass and copper. And also I ordered this one. This is from CD Printed Steel. Let's quickly check a few dimensions. So this is the most important. This is a 10.4 millimeter design. <laughs> 10.4. Okay, uh, the total thickness is not so important, it is 40 millimeters, so in this case 40.05 millimeters, and um, let's say this thickness is 14 millimeters, and again 14.05 millimeters, so very accurate machining. And these are the hooks for the pulling test, where I we have some kind of tensile and uh, bending stress. And uh, actually the smallest cross-section error is 3 by 3 millimeters, so let's measure it, 2.99. 2.96, so very accurate. I don't really remember the distance from the center exactly. I think it is approximately 8 millimeters, but here you can see for the moment the drawing of this test object. The hook test, I'm starting with 6061 aluminum. 46.8 kilograms was the brake load. 70.75 was uh, noticeably stronger. Brass, uh, for my experience, the brass was very similar to the 70.75 aluminum. Copper, for the feeling it was stronger, but actually it was weaker, but it didn't break, just the form. And stainless steel, incredible, so this was a big surprise to me. So this is 3D printed stainless steel, don't forget. And it was almost four times stronger than any of the CNC machined uh, light metals. And just for reference, this is PLA. And something what I expected, 11.6 kilograms. And what I learned for this test beside brake loss, these three broke and these three just deformed. The results are summarized in this exit table, which you can download from mytech1.com website. And final thoughts. Well, maybe at this moment you don't need these kind of services, but it is always good to know the possibilities. Maybe in near future you will need something stronger than FDMC the printed part. And now you have one more solution to this. About this holder for the test objects, uh, you will see it in action very soon in my future videos. Until that, uh, thank you for watching and see you in my next videos. Bye.